Hi everyone, my name is Rosie and I am the person behind Rosie Creates where purposeful plants are creatively made. So for today's video, I'm gonna show you two productivity apps that I use during my SMM training. Okay, let's go right into it! <laughs> So for the first one that we're going to discuss is Tago. Are you familiar with this one? Because um, when we were discussing this in our training, this is my th that was my first time hearing about this app. So let's go. <laughs> so this is Toggle, as you can see. Um, this is the home page okay you can see um, the plants or oh, toggle hire our plants and toggle track this is the one that we needed okay so we're gonna log in and since I already have my, an account I'm just gonna click this one and it will automatically logged in my account so if you want a tutorial i'm gonna link one below uh, and at the description so you can check it out okay so this is reports where we get the reports that we include in our uh, weekly reports then insights projects clients team if you have teams you know clients if you want your clients to see your uh, tracks and this one I accidentally <laughs> opened this one sorry so subscription in integrations import and export you know where you can import and export some um, data and this one are the applications that you can connect to this another app <laughs> yeah so there, they have adobe photoshop adobe a toggle plan and all so let's go back to timer as you can see this is the interface you should uh, input something here and what are you working on for example you have something or you have a task to finish you're just gonna put it there so right now I'm filming a video so video shoot <laughs> mm. yeah then you're gonna start this one and then if it will record your progress you know and time in accomplishing the task so that's basically it that's toggle track Okay, so if when you're finished, you just uh, you just stop the play button. Okay, so you can see your reports here in reports. You can change the dates. You can view it by team or by client or project. You know, in different kinds of tags or filtered. Uh, yeah. So this one detailed where uh, where you can see the detailed reports then weekly from the word itself weekly so the second app that we're gonna discuss is Trello okay this is another tool that I use for productivity because it um, records all of your tasks so you you just click sign in or I mean log in and since I have an account I'm just gonna click that one to log in so if you want some tutorial I'm gonna link a tutorial video in the description okay so check that out so Trello so here you can see the interface you can see the most popular templates the recently viewed meaning uh, my recent edits 
recent edits. So yeah, recently viewed and Trello workspace. Yes, this one is from my SMM trading. And this one is the templates. So there's a lot and tons to choose from. Let's see. So then we can go back to home home page and what else so highlights oh no boards of course the boards then the highlights I don't have any highlights views I don't have any views because I don't have any members or team so I'm alone <laughs> so, and this one is the members of course no members and then the settings so we're going to our ports. Here you can see my SMM training board. Oh, there's a lot of cat categories to choose from for a template. So we're just gonna push one. What did I click? Oh, design. Our research project, design sprint, and web development. If so I click on design sprint so this is an example of a template so it's so easy to use because you're just um, you're just gonna edit those labels with your creative process creative process <laughs> yeah so here you can see those different labels as I said earlier you can edit those by clicking them as you can see so it's a process so phase one two three four and five okay so if you want to edit one you just uh, you just have to click it Okay. Mm. It's loading. I'm so sorry. Okay, so let's click this one. Click. So there you can just edit those. You can some checklist. You know. That's why I said it's for productivity because you are recording your progress in every task okay so let's choose hmm. let's choose another template because this one is so <gasps> uh, so So hard to discuss. <laughs> I mean, too complicated. There's a lot of things happening there. So let's open this one, the simple project board. Yeah, this one. So this one is very simple. I guess this one is perfect for discussion. So yes, as I, as I told you earlier, you can see the different tabs you know first one is oh there you can sorry you can edit those this one is brainstorm you know when you have an idea of something you should put it there as i told you it's a creative process so you're gonna put your faces whenever you are doing something and then there you can add another card in here so let's add one photo editing or edit so after that you can put it to the next tab Whenever you finish something from this one, you can always put it in another and then another and another. It's a process, okay? Until you got to this one. 
I mean to done. So video edit, daily post, you know, see to do list, and then if you're done posting it online, you sh or done creating photo edits or video edits, you should put it to the next. In that way, you know your progress. Okay. So what else do we need to discuss? This is very important because you know your progress, of course, and you know to yourself that you are being productive because it's recorded, you know. It's quite fulfilling knowing that you are finishing your tasks and um, what else? And being productive. <laughs> So here you can an add another list or another tab. So when you're done, here you can have the labels, change the color, the checklist. As I said earlier, you can put dates, attachments for your members, and so on and so forth. Then after that, you can put it here for review. So that's it. That's Trello. Thank you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.